How do I use an ICC profile? This probably is the second most asked question I get right after which monitor should I buy. So I'm gonna show you how to quickly apply an ICC profile without any additional software. And then I'm gonna show you how to improve the quality and reliability of that because the integrated ICC loader and Windows hasn't the best reputation to put it mildly. Hence, we're gonna use third-party software to fix its shortcomings. First of all, we need to download an ICC profile. In case you have a monitor that I already reviewed, you'll find a download link in the video description under the respective review. Let's say you decided to get this one from LG. The link in the video description leads us to Google Drive where we can download the ICC. Once the download is finished, navigate to the file and right click on it. You now want to click install profile, which does sound like we're already done, but actually we're not. We now have to activate the profile we just installed. To do that, go to the search bar and type in color, which should be enough to make color management pop up. Now here you want to make sure that the correct monitor is selected in case you have more than one. Also activate use my settings for this device if it isn't already. Then click add and select the profile we just installed. Now this will obviously have a different name if you're not using the ICC for the 24 gn 600 like I'm here. So select the corresponding profile for your monitor and confirm that with OK. And now the profile will be activated and should already be selected as default. Just to make sure select it again and click on set as default profile. So in case you're lazy, you can stop right here. But you may encounter some quality issues like increased bending or find that the profile may not work properly in some applications. As I said in the beginning, the Windows Profile Loader has got a pretty bad reputation, so I recommend using the DisplayCal Profile Loader on top of that. And of course, I'm gonna show you how to do that. First, you need to download DisplayCal. I put a download link in the video description. As we're using Windows, we obviously want to click on that and then choose the installer for convenience. Once the download has finished, we of course want to double click to install. Click through the usual installation stuff until this dialog pops up. Here you want to make sure that let display cal handle calibration loading is checked because this is what we're doing this for. I don't want to see the README here, but let's start the program right away. Now here you will be asked to download some additional components, which you can deny if you don't plan to make your own calibrations in the future. So we're gonna click cancel here. Then you'll be asked to support the developer of DisplayCal, which you really should if you can afford that, it's a really good piece of software and totally free. But we're gonna pass for now. At this point we can close the display care window and look for this new symbol in our taskbar. If you left click on it, this should actually already show you the profile you applied earlier in Windows. I'm obviously using the completely wrong profile here on my monitor for demonstration purposes, but for you the monitor name and the name of the ICC profile should roughly match up here. Now to make sure that everything is set up correctly, right click on that symbol and click on profile associations. This looks very similar to the Windows color management window from earlier and here we again want to make sure that the correct monitor is selected in the top. As you can see my profile was successfully loaded and is already marked as default. But if for some reason that wasn't the case or if you would like to add a new one, you could just click add and select it from the list. It's basically the exact same principle as with Windows own profile loader and it even already has the same profiles loaded and available, so that's pretty convenient. We can close that window now and basically are done. Now if you want to toggle the ICC profile on or off to see what difference it makes, you can right click on the display cal icon again and select reset video card gamma table. To activate it again, just select load calibration. 
Now, depending on which monitor you have, this effect likely is very subtle, especially if you're just looking at the Windows desktop, but that doesn't at all mean that activating the ICC wasn't worth it. The Windows desktop doesn't support color management, so it can only utilize a small portion of the ICC profile. So that the effect is somewhat subtle is to be expected, and you get a much bigger effect on color managed programs like Photoshop and such due to how these ICC profiles and color management actually works. But that's probably a topic for another video. Anyway, I hope you found this one useful. Bis zum nächsten Mal.